Praise be Jesus and Mary. Currently, in the post-Christian West, we have what I call the persecution light against Christians. That is, Christians are being ridiculed for their faith uh, in the workplace, in the public square. Probably at worst, uh, you might lose your job, uh, have to close your business, change your employment, these type of things. But recently, uh, with, I don't know if you're familiar with the parental rights bill and the discussion surrounding that, uh, really I see that as ominous clouds. That is, persecution heavy, namely imprisonment, is not far off. <clears throat> Basically, What's going on there uh, regards teaching children, third graders and younger, uh, the gender ideology and also human sexuality. And it's at the point where the uh, Christian view of the human person and of human sexuality is considered by this current administration in the White House as, quote, horrible, harsh and cruel to kids, and hateful. Okay, this is the type of um, words that are being used, and I'm pretty sure that they're also backed up by the American Psychological Association. So these are ominous clouds. It calls to my mind a couple of scripture passages. One is Isaiah 520, where he says, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness. The other one is John 16, verses 2 and 3. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father, nor me. And so today's liturgy teaches us uh, how to deal with persecution. That is, to be patient and persevering. We see this in today's gospel where our Lord says, whoever endures to the end will be saved, okay? Endure, namely, be patient. Enduring suffering for the sake of Christ's name. And be uh, to the end, that is, persevering all the way. Um, the commentary says, in patience, we are to endure to the end in patience. So whoever shall sustain persecutions and adversities, even unto the end, that is, both the end of the persecutions or the end of his life, he wholly and solely shall be saved and endowed with salvation, eternal happiness and glory as the reward and crown for his patience. It is not enough to have endured and overcome once, twice, or three times, but to win the crown we must endure and conquer to the end. According to the words of the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10, Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. And as the saying goes, that you may endure to the end, look constantly to the end. Right? We need to have the end in mind, namely heaven and heavenly glory and eternal life. And if we have that uh, always in mind, then that will be a good help uh, to persevering. For the crown of patience is perseverance. St. Bernard says, Perseverance merits glory for man, a crown for virtues. It is the vigor of strength, the consummation of virtues. It is a source of merit, a winner of reward. Perseverance is a sister of patience, a bulwark of sanctity. Take away perseverance, 
And there is neither reward for obedience, nor grace for well-doing, nor praise for fortitude. It is, we must persevere to the end. So we have the teaching of the gospel today, but we also have the example of the saint that we celebrate today. Saint Athanasius, also known as Athanasius the Great. And this is what his entry in the Roman Martyrology says. May 2nd, the memorial of St. Athanasius, bishop and doctor of the church, illustrious for his sanctity and doctrine, who in Alexandria of Egypt strenuously defended the Orthodox faith from the time of Emperor Constantine to that of Valens, and endured many treacheries from the Arians, and was sent various times into exile finally returning to the church which he himself had built up after so much suffering and the many victories of patience he rested in the peace of christ in the 46th year of his priesthood and so there we have a concrete example right of patience and perseverance in the face of persecution and for this reason he received the crown of life in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.